Hello, 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 welcome back to another fully commentated episode of Final Fan Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. Oh yeah. We are over leveled and overpowered and over caffeinated and uh yeah, just a lot of stuff like that. Oh wow, that gives chain bones and all that other shit too, so okay. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just uh, wasting my time with dicking with my equipment when I should be just plowing out through to plow. What we create here is hope and inspiration for mankind. that he invented a machine called a time capsule. That's how they got here. Back in 13 AF, Hope devised a plan to build an artificial Falci. It was called the proto Falci Project. He wanted to use the new technology to re-levitate Cocoon. But then one day, Hope saw a certain prophecy in the Oracle Drive. So I activated the Oracle Drive and watched the prophecy. I saw you fighting the proto Falci, and I saw you screaming out at me. Your machines are driving me nuts! Well, I was getting pretty ticked off by that point. <laughs> well, exactly. So we were forced to reevaluate the project and eventually abandon it. Okay, you saw Sarah getting mad at you, so you canceled your project and then poof, the proto Falci disappeared. Is that about right? We didn't destroy it so much as it never existed in the first place. We were following the wrong path to the future. If the proto Falci had managed to get control of Cocoon, it would have made itself the second Eden, and we'd be back where we began. Yeah. It would have been just like how it was on the old Cocoon. We realized we couldn't let that happen. We had to levitate Cocoon using only human technology. Right. Not to mention that if you had kept with the original plan, your machines would have killed you. Really. Then we owe you our lives. Thank you. No problem. I only had to fight the same the boss like five changes. times. <laughs> to know how he came to the future, huh? Kinda. You heard about the time capsule we used? It's a device that slows He's down time only for its occupants. You the effect the time machine? by the creation of a powerful gravitational field. Out of a DeLorean? Field. Well, essentially we just slept as the outside world flashed forward into the future. This capsule of yours can't take you back, can it? Unfortunately not. And considering it broke down after a single use, I doubt it'll prove to be a popular method of time travel. You risked your own life for the sake of Cocoon. Oh, the director was there with me. Hey, Sarah. After coming to the future myself, I, I think I understand how you must feel. The Academy has welcomed us with open arms, and we can research as we always have, but... Sometimes I get these terrible anxiety attacks. Me too, that... sister. Please, Sarah, you have to let me apologize for the way I treated you in the past. You were kind of bitchy. Maybe you can't forgive me for that, but I hope as fellow time travelers, we can face the future on friendly terms. progress on its investigation into the 13th arc. At this stage, there is good news and there is bad news. Let's hear the good news first. We've discovered that the arc's reactor is powered by an ore cluster known as the Graviton Core. 
By collecting these, there's a possibility that the new cocoon will be up in the sky in no time. That is good news. It's up 400 years. Yeah, okay. So now you gotta hit us with the bad news. Each ore cluster provides only a certain amount of power. The 13th arc, for example, requires a single graviton core. We're going to need multiple cores that we can't seem to find. Need a hand with the Let search? Me guess. If there's one Those thing we're good at, it's looking for weird objects. We could use the help. With you two on the case, we'll have those cores in no time. I'll put together some data on Graviton cores. Check in with the Academy front desk. Collect all the Graviton cores required to levitate the nuke. Gotta catch them all. Lisa and I decided to come to the future to observe the 13th arc, the structure that appears in the sky of this time period. That thing that's floating above us now? Yes. In the end, we abandoned the idea of restoring the old cocoon. Instead, we plan to build an entirely new shell. Of course, there's still the problem of how to keep such a creature. Why can't you just be happy on the planet that you... A whole new cocoon. ...that you're on, damn it. That's an ambitious plan. Why do they have to be sure food? is? And that's why you're here to find out what keeps the Ark afloat. Exactly. When we learned of the Ark's appearance through the Oracle Drive, we had to come and see it for ourselves. Of course. I've heard enough of you. I can't believe it! You found a Graviton core! If you don't mind, I'll just take a sliver from my research. tell you? The director is inventing a new device. The Academy has been making progress on the development of a paradox weapon. A very powerful weapon that feeds on time-distorting energies. Using a paradox against itself, huh? Exactly. There's a possibility we may come up against the man who appears in the Oracle Drive recordings. The war has already begun, and we're fighting to protect the future itself. Battle to the end against Caius. But, Director, didn't you say you were missing a certain material? A Chaos Crystal. It's a solidified chunk of Paradox energy, but according to the data, it doesn't exist in this time period. Well, hey, you've still got us. And we've got the Historia Crux. Mm -hmm. I knew I could count on you. Once you've found the crystal, I can build you a prototype. Oh, the prototype! Okay. Let's go play that stupid quiz game again. I wanna flip the whip. A Graviton core is an extremely rare material discovered within the 13th arc. The arc is kept aloft by the boom force produced through cross reaction between twisted ores, blah 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 blah. And I think there are seven Graviton cores in the whole game. Uh, I'm gonna be taking a peek at my handy dandy strategy guide. Hmm. 
Okay. We got 28 fragments. Graphton core is one of seven. So take with me. Question this. five. It's better only five damn questions. Hey, put some kin. Keep it up. Question six. Okay, looks like there's at least ten questions there. Never tell me the odds. chance I'm gonna use my little device called a phone and just look this up I just found the page with all the answers! Whoa! There's no time limit on this thing.
Oh, uh, this site doesn't have the answer. Oh, Ocean Stadium. Did you know that other terminal locations are accepting entries for unique brain blast challenges? If you think you have what it takes, try mastering all the quizzes on offer. Right around here, Kubo! Look at those red emblem on her eyes. Sure, champ, you can have it. Alright. Oh, yes, we should say it, actually. Check out the new frag moon. Quizmaster, there's nine of these goddamn things. The deterioration from the crystal pillars of floating cocoon continues and it will only be a matter of years before complete constructional collapse occurs. Okay, well, that was, that was great. Okay, it looks like I haven't been to a place, then I cannot... Take the quiz there, or I cannot see where the quiz is, I should say. Look at that mug. What a weird creature. Ooh, what are you? Another chest in this place I saw it was floating around. I might as well throw a mod at that. <laughs> Sounds like he's dying, poor guy. Casino ticket. I've already gotten everything well the casino has to offer. I get it. Let's go down to the right there, to the to the east, and see what see what there is. To see I there. suppose it's time to head home. Ta-da!
one, Mom. Look out! Not this time, Kubo. Something's definitely gone wrong with this gate. Space time is twisted, so the gate can't manifest itself, Kubo. When the future is made certain, the gate will be fixed, Kubo. Future made certain. Does that mean we should help the Academy with their important job? Kubo! Seems like the whole idea of the main plot right now. I don't want to talk about that. I thought he was standing still. Jumped up there. Why is it? That's my mom. Okay. Ooh, these are this is the magical crest for physical. Okay. like they're identical almost. 341, 341. I like it. And potions and Libra are important to leave that on there. Okay. I've been asked to interview the people of the Academy. 
I plan on finding out how life will change for us now that the project is almost finished. I'm bored already with the clothes mommy bought for me. You still got time. Sounds like an ungrateful little brat. Take these coupons with you. Where are you going? Hmm. No, 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 not yet. Just want to explore this town. of Cocoon became the site of a substantial space-time distortion in the year 10 AF. The team the Academy sent to investigate this disturbance was known as the Blitz Squadron, an elite unit trained to deal with paradox-related incidents. For these veteran agents, it should have been just another routine mission.
A large-scale distortion was observed in the vile peaks, a land filled with ancient debris. The Academy dispatched Blitz Squadron, an investigative unit, to check the area. The Elite Academy force armed themselves with anti-paradox weapons. Their mission was simple, to find out just what was causing this spatial distortion. However, the airship carrying the crew disappeared within a cloud of from the vile peaks. That day, six elite soldiers vanished without a trace. And it was my fault. I was responsible. What is this place? Looks like a dumping ground. Lightning told me she came here on a mission once. So your sister's been here too. I bet that's no coincidence. Mm. Shall we save the old game here? Be a little bit warmer for Sarah there. Yeah. Screw Mog. Screw your dog. Rambo. Treasure Two paths in a snowy woods. <laughs> Which path do you take? Mm. 
you know, it's like that one just leads to a treasure chest. Yeah, that was a little bit easier. Well, um, I think I've got about 10 grade. The bitches have got me out of way. Good night. 
be bad. You can never be bad. I'm gonna go back to the down here. This Looks like absolutely nice. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here. I think this is a good place to start. In the next episode, we'll find out where that other path led to. I don't know. It should be good. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and peace.